dollars, and what we're doing now is called tribute money. And I think if you uh, read some things and stories that where somebody gave a red rose a year to stay on a piece of property, that's generally the same idea. The idea was that we would give to the king and his heirs and his signees one ear of Indian corn per year, acknowledging a tribute that he was our king. Theory, all we actually owe is five years of corn, because it, it, from 17, uh, 70, 1771 to 1776 is just five years. But you know, the, the crown has a lot of troubles these days. I mean, Harry is not as over in the United States spending money <laughs> and things like that. And it, it seems like a good idea to pay the debt off in full. So what we're going to do, and what you all are going to do, is plant this corn. And then the three or four characters of the town are going to take it this year, and if anyone wants to go along with them, save your pennies now. And they're going to cut it over to England and give it to Her Majesty the Queen as a gift. Be it also known that the children of the Colebrook Academy will be planting the Indian corn. <coughs> now, therefore, I, Roland Katmar, Selectman of Colebrook Town in the province of New Hampshire, in New England, do declare that upon deliverance of 238 years of corn, <coughs> the debt will have been resolved. Planting of corn. Heavenly Father, whose sense of humor has kept our children alive, your children alive, bless this project, and bless these ears of corn, and the children who shall plant them. Be with them in the years to come. Guide and protect them. And guide and send rain and wind upon this project. This we ask in thy name. Amen.